Color Sports 6 with the Porsche expansion. We're going to finish up the origin series of Porsche, of the Porsche career. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can finish it. I, this is the last race of the 718, if you recall. Then we are going to move our final. We have two more vehicles left after this, which means four more races. We can do four more races, right? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Do not. Not deny that we can do it, because we can do it, and we will do it, because we are awesome, and we are Porsche. Oh, plus 100% driver XP. Whoa. Oh, 100% driver XP. That's ridiculous. That's Miles Ryan back there, right there. Mercedes, you can go away. I don't really like you. I like the Ferrari. I used to have, like, six of those. But then, I accidentally bought four more when they passed the glitch, so I spent six million dollars and I had to sell them all. I am going to get one back eventually. Once I reach twenty million dollars again, I'm going to buy one because they're two million dollars. And I don't know why, I just like to have a lot of money. Plus, I spend a lot of money on ridiculous car bills and stuff. Or just general car, like, max out vehicle bills that I like to do sometimes. So, yeah. I use, um, I can... But yeah, I use quite a bit of money on my race car builds. And I am flying past these clowns. Oh no. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Eh, we ran wide. Come on, we can pass them. We can pass them. We can pass them. Come on. Pass on the outside. He did a pass on the outside, which is very hard to do. Oh, we're in third. I thought you were in second. Oops. Move! You suck. You spun me out. You clearly saw that I was going there, and you still decided to go there anyway. Shame on you. Shame. Ugh, that was close. That was close. I am ruining all the classic Porsches. That's my goal now, I guess. Ruin all the classic Porsches. Now, do not pull away from me. I need a slip from you. Also, I'm going 120, 130, 130 miles an hour at 1960. It's still, it still amazes me how, okay, brakes are bad. Brakes are bad in that car. What's with the brakes? The brakes don't work. The brakes are having an issue. Ah, brakes. What is wrong with you today? That was my fault. Okay, I guess we're just going to skip to when I win. The cars, because I've never driven them before. So I've, I've never driven any other Porsches other than the um, old cars and the 918. Because the 918 is a mandatory introduction that I decided not to include because it's not very exciting. Besides, we'll get to the we'll get to the 918 in our own time. Uh, seriously. Yeah, slight loss of traction. But it's okay. We're still in first. And even though the Maserati is slowly closing on us, it doesn't matter because he doesn't have enough time anyway, because we are at the finish line. Yay! Next and wait for it. We are now done! Like the Porsche. And I'm not gonna look. Eh, not bad. Yay, I'm off and left. Alright, next race. Oh, now we're in the now we're in the seventies. Now we're in the seventies. Alright, nine fourteen. Attracting eight hundred thousand visitors a year with over four hundred events held Alright. So we are now in the Porsche 914. I really want to finish the origins. I really want to finish the origin of the Porsche brand. Because, I don't know, it's just, it's just fitting, really. Are you, are you going to load? Are, are you going to load? All right, here we go. First time driving the Porsche 914 in Forza 6. Honestly, I really don't like the car. It's probably 
like my least favorite of the Porsches. It's kind of ugly. It's boxy. It was a partnership with Volkswagen, so I see the similarities already. We're going three wide in the exact same car. Come on, we are we are passing so many people. Inside line, inside line, hold it, hold it, yay! To um, a Japanese company who made airbags had airbags shoot metal out when they exploded to protect you. They shot metal at your face and killed you. That killed a lot of people. Toyota had a huge scandal where their car would randomly shut down and a few people drove off cliffs or smashed into other cars. Ford had a Firestone issue where they got Firestone tires and that's why there's all those mandatory things saying, be warned, this vehicle can roll over. Because let's just say Ford had a bit of an issue with vehicles rolling over. But, yeah, every car became economical in the 70s, which is annoying, because the Mustang looked like this in 75. The Porsche, well, it was, it was this. It was slower than the 60s 10 years ago. Even Ferrari, Lamborghini, they didn't even exist back then, really. They had a few models of the Jalapa. Um, I think they had the Ferrari 350, or, um, they had some Ferrari, I forget the name of it. Yeah, those weren't exactly popular. So, yeah, everything took a turn for the worst. I think, moving to the show museum, Shelby's known for having like 1,000 horsepower cars. Mustangs at like 550 horsepower, 600 horsepower. Well, at the time, in the 70s and 80s, their highest power vehicle was 175 horsepower. That was it. 175. Yeah, it's it was sad. It was a sad time for cars. Which is why this Porsche is slow. I mean, it, the interior is nice. The interior is nice, I guess. But I mean, we crossed the line, so now we just need to finish the last race for it. All right, here we go. Last race is a 9:14. Three laps, three laps around Laguna Seca. It's one of my favorite tracks because it's such a varying track. It has hills, it has a slight straightaway, I guess you would call it. It has the infamous corkscrew, which is a really hard form for vehicles to navigate. Um, it has hairpins like this, has 90 degree corners. They're going four wide! And they really didn't make it. How, how did the AIs go four wide on the corner? How? Okay. Thank you. Thank you for all of your help with me passing you. Yay! Overtake! 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 There's, there's, there's second and first already. Yeah. I'm just not a huge fan of this Porsche. But, ha but luckily, the 911's next. The 911's next. After all of this time going through relatively slow Porsches because it's like the 60s and 70s when they were just starting out we're gonna finally get into the fast we're gonna get into the fastest and it's nice when you have the fastest like the fastest of the um origin series the 1982 911 before we start to get to the nice cars the really nice cars Sorry off with the um, 1982 3.3911 is next, I believe. And I like the look of that. I like the look of that car. It's 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 the iconic Porsche, all right? The 911, the original 911. That is like the iconic Porsche. Where it has a long front, a decently long back, with a, with a ridiculous spoiler on the back. That is like the ideal Porsche. For me, that's all. That's just awesome. This thing, it's a box. Helped by Volkswagen. Not exactly Porsche material, but that's just me. I'm sure there are people who love this vehicle. I mean, it's not bad. Certainly for the 70s, by no means is it bad by the 70s standards. But for now, it's um, it, yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It is not the 
greatest con plant. I will be honest. Huh. Shortcut. Perfect. <coughs> There we go. Yeah, it's like I said, it's not a bad car. I mean, we can carry uh, 60, 60 miles an hour on the corner. Not too shabby. Over here, it's obviously quite a bit slower because, oh, it's like a 110 degree corner or something. It's ridiculous what the cornering is for this thing. Oh, but speed-wise, it's, it's pretty slow for speed-wise. It is, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it doesn't matter because we won! Yay! A 159. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, my friend. Yay, more mods. Continue! <coughs> yes, the Porsche 911 Turbo! Yay! <coughs> I like this car a lot. Your next race will be at Road Atlanta, home to the Skip Barber Racing School. Great, we totally need to know that useful, amazing information. <sighs> okay, our first time driving the 911. I feel like this is going to be good. Yeah, I quite like the look of this car. Because this is like the staple of Porsche engineering now. Why is there a Renault racing? Also, we are passing these guys like they are in neutral. Because there's a Renault racing. And I love Mustangs, but Mustang, you are about to be destroyed. Because there's a Porsche on tail. And that Porsche is going to pass you. Either by force, like that. Stop, rip. Rip Mustang, sorry. I was going to say either force or, um... Um, skill work, but I guess Ford's works fine. Good job, you ran wide like a moron. Oh, look, a BMW. Oh, look, that car's stupid. <laughs> already in first, and already I like this car. It's fast. It's very fast. It's a very, very fast car, and I like very, very fast cars. Who doesn't like very, very fast cars? Oh, really? You? Go! We, this is not the location for you. You have a straightaway. Let's see how fast we can go. Let's see how fast this fast car can go. <coughs> Alright, that's kind of true. There is a corner, but. We flew across the line onto our final lap, going 120 miles an hour for the corner. Oh no. Rip Porsche. Porsche. Sorry, Porsche. I was looking at how fast you were going and not at the corner and the braking line. That was my bad. Do not get caught up. When you're driving a Porsche, do not get caught up in how fast you are going. It will screw you over, probably. If not, you're very lucky. Now go! Perfect. We just cut that corner. Now you break. Now you break. And again, yeah, perfect. That's how you take that little section right there. Absolutely ignore the racing line and cut every corner possible. <laughs> Stellar racing. I'm pretty sure I'll get banned from racing on my very first race. What do I get? I get a warning on my first race and I get banned on the second race. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, ooh. The interior's all 80s and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's not too bad. But, yeah. It's made the outside. It looks awesome. And the speed! Again, with 135. Come on, Porsche. You need to go faster than 135 miles an hour. Alright. You just have to go faster. That's the number one goal. Always go faster. No. 97 miles an hour around a corner before the finish line. Holy crap, that was fast. And our final race is at the freaking Nuremberg Ring. Hopefully it's the shortest track. It is the shortest track, but it's three laps. 
That's, I mean, it's a short track, but that's still a very long time. I don't want to do it that long. I don't care if it's the shortest track in the Nuremberg. Rip BMW. Get out of the way! Hey, you're a newer Porsche, aren't you? No, you're not. You're just a different livery one to make it look newer. How dare you? Of course, it ran wide so hard. Hey, buddy! Yes, go into the grass again. Hey! Yes, stay in the grass and stay back. Or there will be severe consequences for anybody who tries to pass me. Nobody ain't, no, ain't nobody gonna pass me. If they do, they will, they will have a face-to-face -face meeting with either a wall or the dirt. Yeah, damage my, my Porsche. Is, my Porsche is damaged now. I don't like my Porsche being damaged. I like my Porsche, but I don't like it being damaged. Why do you gotta damage my Porsche? <coughs> no respect with these driver cars. No respect at all. It's absolutely abysmal what these driver cars do to your vehicle. Because they don't know how to drive. Okay, then. As I said, they don't know how to drive. I proceed to drive into sticky sand. Great. All right, we are on the last lap of Mr. Porsche here. And, um, or this Porsche, anyway. Brakes, brakes, brakes work, thank you. I mean, you sort of worked. You're, you kind of did, you kind of didn't. But, I don't get it. Okay. All I need to do is finish this lap, and then we'll be com we'll be done with a third of the um, story, the career. So, <clears throat> hopefully, we can we can do this. We can you win. We can take him down. We can take him down. All right. So all we have to do is all, is what I just said, and I, and I think it's gonna be pretty easy because one, I'm already in first. Two, I'm racing a BMW and a Ford Mustang. <clears throat> and three, I'm in a Porsche. Porsches are awesome. I don't care what people say about them. Like, Porsche has, like, a bad rep, almost. And, like, at least in my neighborhood. I don't know why, but everybody owns an exotic car in our neighborhood. <clears throat> but, yeah, people are like, oh, hey, Porsche isn't that good. There are so many of them. Yeah. Because they're that good. They're relatively inexpensive track cars. Depending on which one you buy. Um. And the Cayman GT4. Please add that in. Um. That's really. Because they look cool. Other than the scratches. They sound cool. And. They're fast. They're really fast. But. That means we are done with the origins of Porsche. Hooray! And we hit a wall. Good job. <laughs> An achievement. Yeah, we finished the origins era of Porsche. Woo! And five, four, three, two, one. Eh, not bad. Continue. Yay, the early years are complete. Yes. Let's see what cars we have in the evolution. Let's see what vehiculars we have. And then I think we'll end the episode. So we're starting the evo we're starting the evolution of Porsche. And it's a cutscene. The tastes of the world evolved. Porsche evolved with them. A performance car had to excel not just at the track, but in comfort on the open road. With Porsches now being sold around the world, the brand expanded with new models, including the first supercar. Faster, faster, faster. Racing technology began to outpace human reflex. Engine power swelled with massive turbochargers and larger displacement. 
surprisingly versatile 9-11 would win endurance championships. into the technology of all Porsche models, continuing the tradition of building cars that felt as at home on a track as they did on the road. Okay then. So you have oh you have two of them. You have raising dollars and building innovation. So charging engines was not so, you have the Porsche 959, nice car. Porsche 944 turbo, pretty good. Porsche Cayenne turbo, yeah. Porsche 911 GT3, yeah, yeah. But anyway, guys, that is it for this episode of Forza Motorsport 6 Porsche. And I'll be back with more.